Should be live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's that's the classic way to start. Oh, I'm getting a dupla ad. Wow. A dupla? Oh man, that's a fun time. Was if you're five. Oh. And Marcus, are you able? Not Marcus. Are, of course, you are you able to see the screen share for for the Clip Studio? Oh, screen share. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I mean, that went to the stream. Hold on. I mean, that works too. It, it either works, honestly. But as I can see, screen share. But just a matter of resolution and delays. So as you can see, we got a man. Uh, but yeah, screaming and three D hundred rats and ninety eight rats come flying out of the. Hmm. You know, I'm going to write that down for kicks and giggles. Uh, 98 rats run out of the cave. Will they run out of I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm regretting not making Fred a white magic sorcerer because I could make it a white magic table for that. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll have a, a wondrous, maybe Mar maybe Marcus's Arlick can make a orb of wild magic for you. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to say. Well, uh, assuming yeah. his uh, pr his practice of getting them becomes a little more acceptable for my uh, for my character. This is a good point. It is quite unethical, and it's geared toward unethical methods right yeah. now, unfortunately. Yes, to anyone who's in the audience, I welcome you to Atelier Beck. Today we have Corsio Northlawn or Corsio Raven. Jalen Matt. Can I say more? <laughs> what? Oh, e e yes, please. Do you want to say anything? No, no. I was asking if I should. <laughs> uh, honestly, the only things I can think of are to say hi so people recognize your voice, can, you know, identify your voice. Hi. <laughs> Good. And Jalen Mapper. Becca, you ruined my thing. I wanted to play the duck when I was called up. Oh, I'm I am terribly sorry. I will fix that. Got to hack into the mainframe and bring up sound alerts. And we also have Jalen Mapper. Wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, and somewhere hiding in the shadows or in bed is Marcus Halloween. And Probably you... in bed. Yeah. And if you are interested in any of these fine folk, these gentlemen, they also do stream and do things themselves and cause trouble for other streamers, which means they might cause trouble for each other. And since Marcus is not here, I don't want to take the time to say that part of why I was, I, we were going to play anyway, but part of why I am pushing to stream more often is to raise money for a dear friend who needs help. Uh, moving out of an abusive household, a, a, a dilapidated home with abusive, neglectful family, houses literally falling apart, but their ref families refusing to pay money even though they have it. Um, they also have a lot of medical needs, and I'm trying to work with them on paperwork, on insurance, and raising enough money to help them afford deployments and care, and eventually to move out into a home or apartment that they can you know, feel safe in pursue work in and you know make their own money without surveillance micromanagement and emotion abuse uh, what what Beck says <laughs> I, i'm i'm sorry okay, i know that's weird time who's Hello. there ah <laughs> we have a weezer <laughs> welcome i was afraid this might happen <laughs> yeah I mean, as long as Weezer, as long as you keep it say so, you don't you don't get lewd or explicit. I don't I don't mind someone in the audience do it. Do either of you mind? Nah. I'm a me, I, I don't suppose. get that lewd. <laughs> All right, can can you keep it PG thirteen? I know PG thirteen today is a little raunchy, actually. But you you know. Yeah, I'm I'll just try and keep it PG seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's for babies. <laughs> for babies. <laughs> oh, you actually might get a kick out of this. Um, there is a redeem called Goblin Mode, 
where I'll actually just start narrating in, in the Robin voice. I'll, I'll play as the morph and say, and then the, and then, and then Arlie did a sick flip, and then there was a rat. <laughs> Do a flip. <laughs> and then Jalen redeemed that the, then the rat that and Jalen redeemed the Robin voice and Marcus slept for the event. Marcus overslept the date to start the adventure. I feel like we should just start and he'll catch up. What are you guys doing? We're playing D and D. Oh, that's right. I was gonna lose in on that this time around. <laughs> and I will tell you if you wait, you don't have any channel points. Wait, if you ever do have channel points, you can use them on my side to make a mess with like chat interaction and cause random boost to armor class or damage or advantage or spell slots and then you can and then you can make a big mess and give everyone an unintended un unexpected well timed or poorly timed advantage or disadvantage in the heat of battle could it turn the tides of war maybe it's up to you to see if they rise to the top or fall to the bottom oh, there it is. yes where's the small point thing so i can redeem it i want to redeem it so i can just do some shit uh, it's cha <laughs> it's chaotic. It might be it, there are chaotic, the chaotic boon, threat and illness, and I'm just gonna have Marcus's character hide away for now. He went to sleep. He he missed the day. So, dude, yeah, yes. Can I roll an animal handling check on the Minotaur? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. That's a okay, that's it. The Minotaur's gonna go by. I regret to inform you the Minotaur. What if what? Kafa with water magic skills be kind of busted? Because they'd have the high armor stat and they'd be able to just give themselves a shower whenever they want. So wow! What? That does sound quite busted. <laughs> I like the way you think. See, because I, I just thought of that because I was like, wait, hang on, I have a shark. OC, a shark person OC thing. Why yeah. not try and figure out a way to make that work with the Indian? I was like, wait, Lakatha is a fish, but you can make them the Lakatha hybrid, right? Potentially, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. But since they still have to, you know, get wet every now and again, just use water magic, take a shower, and voila, you're done. <laughs> Very good. And so maybe one day the Lakartha will join us and cause a big mess as long as we're around I'm not around enough room for water. Anyway. I mean as long as like you have a water magician, everybody's fine. This is true. Cause showers help uh, do showers help rest? No. I, I wouldn't want to knowledge. sleep while being wet. <laughs> no, no, it... like the the muscle relaxation effect. I think it depends if the character prefers a hot shower or a cold shower, if they even want to well, be you, wet. You use different magics to heat up the water, or, you know, yeah. or cool it down. So, yeah, I honestly, I think there, at least I would be up for that. You know, you just have to specify the properties of the shower, the care, if the character actually enjoys a shower while resting, finds a shower restful. Uh, well, a shower to increase muscle relaxation. Yeah, but some characters might just get agitated by that and not in kind of ignore the muscle relaxation if you know if does that make sense yeah i i hate to admit but i know plenty of people who do not find showers restful even if it relaxes their muscles they'll just get agitated by too much showering and jalen is right we are getting off topic ah thank you and so and so and so marcus's character uh and so a ah, a bat person put out a quest a a call for help for his my for his friends or at least one friend who was works as a miner the mining friend went missing for a week now and for reasons unexplained this bat this merchant bat has put out a quest asking for help to find his friend who presumably you know went missing in the cave went missing got kidnapped went missing around might have gotten crushed by a rock just to get some closure and is willing to reward any adventurers who might be willing to take on this. And such word got through to Fratin, the Furflame Sorcerer of Divine Bloodline, and Elian, the monk, the Air, Gen the Air Genesee monk of Cobalt Soul. Yay! <laughs> so for Fratin and Elian, do you have any questions for the quest giver, for the merchant? Yes, um, 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 if, if we are uh, getting any information on what happened to your uh, 
to the one you want to uh, have found and uh, how how way how and where are we supposed to relay that to you well the cave is not very far from the town in which i work so i trust you can get back in half a day yeah at a comfortable it's pace it's, it's like the way or is it what i mean i'm sorry i don't have a map um of th this here to your town uh not to worry, they'll find there is a dirt road that leads to it quite quite easily. It can be a little rocky, a little dirty, but it is it is relatively well marked, and I'm sure you'll be able to find your way back. If not, there's signposts along the way. Okay. So you you were you were talking about a reward. Correct. What's what sort of again? Well, the mine itself is quite valuable. It has, it has been shown to have many silver ore deposits, very useful material, many gemstone, many rock gem, uh, je rocky gem clusters. And if you can bring my friend back, I will make sure you get extra gold. Alive, the, the, the better condition he is, of course, the more gold you'll get. If you bring me back a corpse, I'll, I'll be very sad, but you know, I'll reward you for the closure. Do you have a pickaxe or something of sorts that could be harvested by some? I do. Here, would you? I will sell it to you at a discount of one gold piece. I am a trader after all. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the bills. Gotta get the hustle. Hmm, pickaxe could be useful. Hmm. Will you pay the one gold piece for? I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Could you do half? Yes. That's fair. We marked it in your inventory, or should I take note? Or do you want me to do that? It's up to you. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. I do believe on D and D Beyond you can add custom objects to your inventory. I will admit I'm still learning the system. If I go to inventory. I'll, I'll take a look. I'll, I'll take a quick look. I'll, I'll search right. my bags. All right. There is hey. a, a miner's pick. I think you can use that. Yeah. It depends. Does does. Alien have a, I think, a edge adventurer's kit? I don't see it, but I could be mistaken. I'll take a quick look. I'll, okay. I'll scout through my gear. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mess kit. Oh, no, I just think that's just for eating. I don't, I wouldn't recommend using a fork and knife to pick at rocks. <laughs> So nothing else in that matter. So let me take a look at my balance. <laughs> I'm not sure where the hell exactly would that be put. Oh, there it is, ten. <laughs> <laughs> and Jalen wrote, "Insert Spamton joke here about I'm gonna sell you the deal of a lifetime. A thick to crash through all that stands in your way." Um. Okay. So let me guess. Oh, one one gold piece is two electrum. So that means that I'm left with one electrum. Oh no, he's bringing Electrum in. Jalen, he's bringing Electrum in. What do we do? Or should I go with Silver? Uh, yeah, Silver's good. It's, if I remember correctly. That's five then. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yay, <laughs> metrics. <laughs> so now how do I add that? Uh... Otherwise, you can just put a decimal for the gold piece. I'm, I'm cool with half a gold Let piece. Three, uh... No, I think you need Minor to add speak. There it is. You Minor speak. Add. Add to equipment. And hello, potato Edit. and mercury. <laughs> Imagine using Electrum. Oh, do you all want to see something kind of cute? Yes. Okay, this is this is very off topic. Uh, Mighty Moon, she's a very chill artist and friend. I'm going to shout out as I do. Um, drew this for me the other day. That's the word. And it just it just makes me think of Beck Kappa. Beck Kappa. <laughs> like maybe, maybe a little bit, but it's very cute. I like it. Imagine using Electrum. <laughs> and I do reject silver pieces, embrace Electrum. <laughs> I mean historic uh, in reality, Electrum is an alloy of silver and gold, so it makes sense where it places in its variety. Um, and I do hope that Potato's having a good day, 
and Mercury as well, and in general. But he has Electrum as an inventory. Well, I hope you get to get. I hope you find an engineering puzzle. No, you can still use it for fun. <laughs> I just know that Electrum is a fifth of a gold piece, so that gets a little messy. A fifth? I thought it's half of it. Because uh, it says one Electrum is... Uh, no, oh. two Electrum is one gold piece. Oh, my mistake. I could have sworn that. And it's not important. Either way. Yeah. So, so I guess it depends. Uh, so I guess it depends. Does Eileen prefer to work with uh, silver and gold? or Silver and gold alone, or with Electrum as well? I mean, from what I can tell, money is money. I like the way you think. I mean, if you if you were to ask someone back at the shrine, they would probably give you a different answer. But I I feel like that is just pointless. So I'd rather go with the normal. Well, the money is money. The merchant snaps and agrees with you. Hey, but hey, you gotta live in the moment. Gotta stay. Gotta strike a good deal when it's right in front of you. I take it. And the merchant nibbles on the electrum piece. It's hard to tell if it is for checking its authenticity or if it's just a weird uh, oral habit. Maybe he likes the taste. No, 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 no. All right. I would, like to... I would like to do the same with one of my electrum pieces. <laughs> it tastes, what does it taste like? Well, it tastes bitter and sweet. It's unusual for a metal to take a metal alloy to taste this way. Maybe it's a candy coin. It's just it tastes weirdly it has a sweet aftertaste, but otherwise it's as bitter as you might expect a metal coin to taste. I would like to do an arcana check. <laughs> All right. Let's see, what do you got? Uh, another 15. It appears, it, uh, upon further inspection, this coin is not magical, but just has a bit of jelly donut crumb stuck to it. Ugh, no, no, who, no, 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 no. <laughs> I wonder who handled this before. You get plus one health back. <laughs> All right. Do alien, do, do alien or Freden have any other questions or concerns with the merchant and the quest? Uh, nope. Not particularly. All right, then. Here's a little map. Oh! And this is the way to the cave. I will admit I don't have intel on what's on inside exactly, but at least you know it's about... It's a little east-southeast from the town, because I'm too lazy to have maps rotate. And there's a nice... There's some trees along the way. There's some rocks. And there is a river that runs by it. So, if you ever get lost on the way, even with the dirt path, look for the bit, look for the skinny river, and it should guide you there. Okay. Rocks, wrote Mercury, and there it is, indeed, a large mountain with a with a, with a small shitty entrance. Based on the position of the sun, it appears to be. Mm, a little before noon, and is totally not a reflection of our session time. <laughs> um, but Hark, I would like the two of you to roll perception. Wait, yes, perception checks. How did I do that? Uh, do you have a dice roller website, or like if you go to Google, I think you can just roll a dice roller. I mean, oh wait, there's like a dice roller in the. D and D Beyond now. Perfect. Uh, of course, you can just click on the modifier on your stat sheet. This is true. Roll with modifier. Do you, do you see where it says Wiz Perception plus three? So perception, where is that? Um, there it is. Plus yeah. three. So if I click on plus three here. Yeah, it yeah. should give you. Oh my. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't see. Of course, you see brick. Uh, how do you game log. Oh. I'm That's, unlucky. Uh, mm, At least you got it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, nothing unusual from nothing unusual about this area to Elian's eyes, which is either very promising or very concerning, like a sign of some obscure, uh, some illusion magic. So let's see what Fratum can perceive. Um, I already rolled an eleven. 
Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I, I'm still getting used to the interface myself. That's fine. Very sorry. Okay, so... Hmm. I regret to inform you that from one of the trees, a few, sh a few arrows fired down at your characters. Will a... Check. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, my mistake. They appear to be pebbles like from a slingshot. And do and does an artificial 20 hit fret, hit through Fratum's AC? Yes. Okay, then. Fratum uh, will take. Yes. Uh, Mercury uh, Mercury, uh, redeemed a, a threat in the bone. Uh oh. I will get to that. I will take a look. Thank you for the catch. So let's see. Chaotic threat and chaotic boon. So, one, two, three. Okay, for the two of you, let's see here. I said, well, would an eight, 18 would still appear, get through your armor class, I believe, I'm looking at your sheet right. So that doesn't help at all in this case. But hey, at least the two of you now have two extra armor class for this fight. Wow. So let me write a note there. Two extra. AC to fight one. Oops. Not suspicious at all. My armor class just changed to two, okay. Changed by two. It increased by two, not two, two. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I misclicked that. <laughs> and for the threat, let us see here. What do we roll? Minus two to armor class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be very convenient. Nope, oh, it's a damage boost. The enemy will now do Two extra damage. Oh no. Threat. She's about to scratch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let us let me look at these rolls. Fratum unfortunately incurs a slingshot pebble a slingshot pebble to the thigh. And it Ouch. really stings like ouchy. It, it sings so ouchy. Five bludgeoning damage. That's a good thing. That was a good shot. And I regret to inform that the next pebble shot that actually hit Alien, El Elian, rolled a natural 20. That is a really good shot. And will in fact do... Let me roll that. Oh! Okay. That's not so bad. It also does five dam uh, five bludgeoning damage. Wait, no, sorry. Seven. Got at the, got Wait, at where, the was I, where was I hit? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. And the footsie. Oh, that's fair then. That, then my elven chain will probably not prove very helpful in that yeah. sense. I mean, chain shoes sound pretty stylish. Maybe you can get it up here later. So I have to damage myself by five? What? So I deal five damage to my character now, here. Seven. Or seven. It was, it was, yeah, it was five right, with the yeah. two dice and then two with the damage boost. Very good. Okay, let me see here. All right, and it appears that in one of the trees, actually, there are in that in one of the trees is, if I can find the right book, oh, hide the hide the quest giver, hide the outline. In one of the trees is a red kobold. Oh no! With the slingshot starts twirling its starts twirling its swing, slingshot again getting ready to fire next one next turn and there are two in there in fact why are they staying right next to each other i don't know that's a good way to get hit by a fireball or just have a tree fall down now i want you to to roll for initiative that that's okay See, so Fratum rolled a 7 for initiative. I do apologize. I'm still figuring out how to get the D&D &D Beyond to, to, what's the word, show via Twitch overlay there. And as Jen wrote, that's a big shot! And Jingle Jangle Socks, here come the rocks. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Okay, that's not bad. Fortunately, it won't matter too much as these kobolds simply... They just keep revving up their slingshots, but they don't fire them just yet. 
However, there is a strange whistling in the air in the distance. I would say about one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So about 45 feet away, there is a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. No, sorry, not a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. A whistling noise. What could it mean? Okay. <laughs> oh no, and then suddenly a duck, a duck came from the cave and it went quack, 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 quack. Or better yet, it's a duck whistle. Quack, quack. <laughs> the reinforcements have arrived. I think that is, yes. Quack. <laughs> and it is now the turn of Alien and Fratton. And what will you do? I, uh, I, I, <laughs> if I attempt to speak with the kobolds, they're going to hear me, right? Yes, and they do speak. I would assume they can speak common or draconic. Common and draconic. Um, what, what are you two doing up there? Why are you guys shooting bullets or getting shot around the uh... Kobold speaks. Be gone, outsider. We have no business. You have no business here. Flee at once. And the says, Jerry, you don't gotta be so theatric about They can't understand your fancy, your fancy, your fancy elvish accent. Hey, piss off, mates. But we are here to search for someone in there because, you know, somebody got lost already. Wait, you like this guy? Uh... Wait, is it me or do you guys have double standards? Is that possible? Alien, do you want to quickly slide anything in before the kobolds respond? I'm, I'm thinking about it. I mean, I, I kind of noticed that I probably could have used uh, deflect and missiles before, but that's kind of too late now. Yeah, they got they got very sneaky. They they got very lucky with the ambush. But of course, yes. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking if I should let the negotiations continue or not. Good to me. Mm. Is there some sort of like a role for some sort of like a preparation? Ah. Uh I do believe for concentration based spells and abilities, you need to take. Ah, is it a bonus action or a whole action? I do apologize. I don't remember all the rules. That's okay, like but I don't think it matters anyway. Oh, okay. It's then... Concentration is just. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You can't do another concentration spell or you have to roll, you know, a constitution uh, when you get hit. Yes. It is technically your turn, so you, you could do that if you like. It, the, the talking is a free action. It doesn't count toward your moves for this turn. Well, I see. Thank so you. I, I'll, just, I'll just wait for now. Okay. I'll, I'll just see, see what the conversation leads to. Sounds good. The, ones, the one named Jerry says, Ha! Uh, and let's see, and Fratim said that they're looking for someone, and Jerry said, You must be mistaken, good sir. You must be mistaken, good sir. There is no one here who would have company and business to do with you. And the one whose name is not known yet just smacks Jerry like whack. And apparently he smacked him so hard in reaction that Jerry actually ah, just ah, fell out of the tree, tumbled down the trunk, and landed right in front of the two of you. And the one not named Jerry went, oops. Uh, are you okay? Uh... Just about to scratch. Scratch. <laughs> Um, I would like to help him out. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Why, thank you, good sir. Perhaps you are not the ruffian we had suspected. I mean, if if I if I was being a ruffian, I would have just said, "Enemy attack!" <laughs> <laughs> the one named Jerry is slightly spooked by your raisin voice, but is okay with it. Well, um, I, I suppose we have a bit of an understand un misunderstanding here. Um. <laughs> the one named Jerry agrees with you. I would wish to do good business with you, for I see you are not an evil individual who seeks to interrupt our own affairs. But alas, I do have my orders. Hmm. I, I guess your orders are to, like, protect the entrance, or... Something. Jerry starts to speak and says, You are cut! But then, oh, excuse me, in a, in a small reaction, 
The other cobalt shoots down a pebble and knocks Jerry in the back of the head. Ah! And it causes Jerry Oi. to yelp with pain. What a, what a jerk. Alien, do you have something to say? Um, I could use a levitate spell. <laughs> That's a good idea. So the mean, mean cobalt might yeah. actually just get levitated now. I'm not sure how to properly use that. I tried to click on use, but I'm not sure what I do. Let me take a look at the details. One creature, blah, 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 concentration. You first, you first have to use concentration, and then, which means you would have to take your action or bonus action, or bonus action for that, and then, as you cast it, the target has to still float into the air, remain there for up to 10 minutes or six turns, or until you, until you, um, what's the word? Until... Spell it. Yeah, thank you, until you dispel it. And then, if you dispel it early, it has to roll a con save. Oh, wait, no, I misheard that. The spell can levitate a creature that is up to five, target is up to five pounds, an unwilling creature has succeeds on a con throw. So you would have to, what's the word, roll it, and then the, the, col the mean kobold would have to roll for a constitution, and have to get higher than 11 plus your spell modifier, which in this case, I believe, is plus your wisdom. So it would be 12. I'd have to get at least a, at least a 13 to avoid being levitated by you. Yes. Okay. Concentration, concentration. Uh-oh. I mean, that means you can't do it this turn, um, but presumably it won't attack you or figure out what you're up to. So I'll put a note of that for next turn. B, conk. Okay. Uh, Fratton, did you want to do anything beside help the kobold up? Because I would consider that a bonus action. You know, it's it's a small little right. thing. Uh, hey, Mister uh, uh, th Rock Throwing Person up there, is there a reason you're being so mean to this uh, to your you know comrade? He's not doing a good job. He's not supposed to talk. He's not supposed to help. He's not supposed to switch sides. He's a turncoat. He's a great shoes. And he does a little uh, spit and hocks up a little rock. He, he got a bad diet. Huh? <laughs> Are you okay? I, uh, you, you seem to be, uh, you know, steaming a bit. I'm surrounded by idiots. Ah! And it almost sounds like an elvish dialect or accent is coming out of this mean kobold, too. Ooh. Look, um, we, we don't have to get make this be um, uncomfortable more than it already is if you could, you know, calm, calm down and we can just talk. No! As it says, no! The what? We're already talking. It's Dang, already that's talking. some logic. <laughs> You're, defi you're defining your own logic. Stop! You're trying to confuse me! Stop! <laughs> I, I would like to do a persuasion check. Go for it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, that's a 22. Nice! That kobold is so persuaded, like... Um, alright, 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 fine. I'll listen. Wait, what do you got? What? So, so to, to, to confirm the persuasion is like you're just saying to the kobold, you know, we're already talking, and it's like, and it's supposed to like, hmm, you make you make a good point, right? Right, just that he stops yelling, and you know, he, we can talk like normal people. All right, all right, fine. If it gets to stop, if it gets all this, to stop. And the kobold, the the mean kobold, it slides down the tree. It looks like Tarzan. It goes and lands. Well, as you can see. About ten to fit, uh, yeah, about ten feet from the two of you, and is willing to talk now. Yay! Good job. The combat has uh, ceased, and you can talk freely now. Hey, alien, what do you think about this? I mean, I've initially been rather insulted by the thrown rocks. But considering your abilities with speech and persuasion, I feel like we can give it a chance. 
What I wanted to ask you is, is M M M. So you guys are like having orders to not let us go in there, right? That is correct. Yeah. If if we got like a uh, a, a, a a request, would that uh, help in our uh, situation? The polite couple named Jerry asked for more information. Like like we had this uh, mysterious fellow, and he. Actually, I, is he, where is he? Do we still see him? No, he is. He is uh, hundreds of feet away. He is. The town is. The town itself is but a a speck on the horizon. You know, you could still get there in in good time, but it's not within talking distance by a long shot. And it's a little sussy. This guy didn't give you any methods of you know far range communication as you asked for before. Asked about before. Well, well, I, 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 I guess you'll just have to believe this. Um, so, um, I don't know if you saw that, but we were, like, talking to a guy, um, like, right here, and, uh, uh, he requested us to, uh, go in there and search for someone who's already, who already forgot. Uh, near. S. And then Fredham just say something in German. <laughs> and... Um, 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 we, 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 would, we would need to go in there. The couples listen to you and nod. Uh, go, ah, ah, ah. To either uh, rescue the person or like uh, find them and, and then we'll be going again, probably. Yeah. I see no problem with this request. We will guide you. I won't. I'm, I'm gonna go get lunch. Have a nice meal. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if either of you want to try and stop the Angie Kobo, the less friendly Kobo, from walking off to get lunch. Well, I was Man. getting ready to guess, but I don't think that is no, no longer necessary. That's true, not unless you want to be a jerk and like float him around for, for prank. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going to have turn a salad with hard boiled eggs. Yum, yum. <laughs> I know that couples wouldn't actually eat that, but I I'm kind of hungry for that so far. <laughs> um, so, so are uh, you guiding us now, or we're we just going like this? Yes, I will guide you, and I will tell them to sound off the alarm. And the kobo, the play kobo named Jerry, shouts something interconic that I'm too lazy to learn a language for, and the alarm, the duck alarm, goes quack 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 quack. Duck whistle mm. shuts off. Mm. <laughs> and it makes a little too, the whatever was in there in that little rock or hiding behind the rock that made the little duck noise just, it just shuts down with a little sad toot okay Jerry will offer to lead you through the cave good job <laughs> and then suddenly some apples fell from the tree wow it's up to you if you wish to identify them, or eat them, save them for later, ignore them. Yeah, can I check if they are still fresh? Yes, they are indeed fresh. It's quite, they are fresh. They don't have any obvious wormholes. They don't seem fermented at all. All right, I would like to share them with Elian. Very nice. I'll, I'll take one or two or three. There are four mm -hmm. apples altogether. And the cobalt denied declines any. So it's up to you to how you want to split the apples or if you're going to eat them now. Mm. How many do you want? Uh, about five or two. All right. Let's do half half. Two apples for each. Math. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, Virgil. And good morning. We are do I think we're doing all right, thank you. How do you do? Actually, this is a good time to stretch, so I am going to... Would you two... And I get some more water. Would you all please excuse me while I get some hot water and some stretches on the screen? No problem. Yeah. Yes. Uh, see, there's some harder stretches. I'll put on something a little more lively this time. I'll put some squats. Right there. I am going to set it to run an Oh, I can't actually set it to run an ad while D&D is open. Fat D&D handles on. Fascinating. Just leave it on. I'll be right back. Squat walk over to the kettle.
vertebrae, the fusing and all that on the farm stuff. can't see it exactly. It'll only say random sound. And I thank you all for your patience. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, Jerry the polite kobold was ready to lead Fratim and Elian into the cave and also told the uh, alarm to sound off. So, shall they... Yep. Uh, yeah, that works. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see, erase that. Let's get rid of it. Jerry actually asked, I must inquire, why are you incentivized and motivated to seek this fallen, fa this missing fellow of yours? I mean, um, if some, if someone, uh, some undisclosed person, <laughs> uh, <laughs> politely asked and since I am trying to get a bit into adventuring for other personal reasons uh, it's like a good opportunity right this logic is sound bravo uh. Uh. and what say you blue 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 blue, blue tinged maiden Oh, I mean, it oh. is a rather wonderful cave around here, so I felt it would be a nice opportunity to explore around and see what it's like around here. But also, the reward involved does strike my fancy. Indeed, my dear. It is indeed a scenic layout, a, von a wonderful, a wonderful network of underground beauty. And who doesn't like a little bit of gold on the side, eh? eh? Do, do, do. As the party approaches, and I don't know if either of you had a specific intention for the layout, uh, suddenly from suddenly from the cave, it appears to you can hear some squeaking, and I make sure I'm on the what? I just said ah. Okay. <laughs> and as as uh, <laughs> and from the cave come runs out a big dirty gray rat and i don't mean dirty like you know in a racist against rat way i mean like it's covered in smoke and schmutz and dirt and then another rat and another rat animal handling and like all right jalen i mean all, all right fred let's get that animal handling let's go let's wait where's this sound okay that's not good <laughs> oh. let me take a look fred and roll animal handling uh, a rat nibbles on your hand as it runs by. Well, actually, it's not, it's not even close enough to nibble, so it's like if it looks at you and it says, mmm, in its rat head, it goes, mmm, you look pretty tasty. And it tries, to, and then it starts to look like it's going to bite at the, at the hand. But, you know, I'm sure you're fast enough to avoid a rat bite. Yeah, yeah I got that handy. <laughs> you handle the animal enough to avoid uh, handling its teeth. Yeah. Okay. Time for the key. Do's. Anyone have a preferred order to go in? Because as you begin to enter the cave, you can see it is. Let me get the interior open and the interior lining. It's a very narrow pathway, single file, unless you really squeeze together. So, do, do, does anyone here have a preference for the, you know, order of the line? Let's play a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who goes in first. <laughs> I, I, well, like between the two of us, or even the kobolds? The kobold is small enough to wiggle it, through. Yeah. Or we can do it through. Well, that's fair. So, who should go first out of the two of us? I'd say that... Um, we could roll. Alright. Well, but what, what's, the, what's the attribute? Uh, I guess it's just flat roll. And I welcome you, Uri to Uber. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you... Just... Uh, click on the dice and just roll a d20. Oh, that's smart. And I guess it'll just be whoever gets the higher value. Unless we're odds and evens. While you do that, I'm going to say welcome to Uriguri VTuber. Broccoli, broccoli dude. 
Okay, so uh, 19 volt. What are we rolling for? <laughs> I uh, mean, uh, maybe I, odds I'm, and evens I'm is a better way to handle this. Melee, so I, I can go first. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll take a look. That okay. makes sense. And while you do that, I will welcome Uri Guri to Atelier Beck. I am Beck. This is my Atelier. Today we're joined by Corsia Raven and Janlin Matthew. And if you're in the West, I say good morning. If you're in the Meridian, I say good afternoon. Actually, yeah, I still I, then I'll say goody early noon. If you're in the East, I'll say good evening. And if you're in a place where time does not apply, then I simply say welcome. Thank you for humoring me on that. <laughs> um, Someone watching from the ISS. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why not? I'm popular. Okay. I'm guessing the... Um, Fred. 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 Sorcerer. Do you wish to... Do you wish for me to... Well, if I'm leading, perhaps I should actually go ahead first, so they know not to shoot at strangers in here. I'm sorry, I did not think to mention that before. Okay, so Wait, I will back out of the cave and let him go past me. A little ant puzzle. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot all about that for this before. Okay, so yeah. do, do, do. There appears to be nothing. But how does he know that? Oops. Oh yes. But how does he know? I'm a sorcerer. I haven't cast a single spell yet. Oh, I thought you have like a spooky sorcerer or a or, or, uh, cloak. Wait, uh, what? Uh, 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 let the court, let the court strike this statement and not let it affect further evidence. Uh. <laughs> I think the kobolds are indeed powerful. They can sense a sorcerer. Oh, I, I like yeah, that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, for you. <laughs> I mean, thank, thank you, Elian. Um, okay. So, do, 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 going through the cave. There's a suspicious doorway. Does anyone want to try and open it? Um, what is with this door? Are we supposed to go in there? Um, I would think not. I do not believe any prisoners or, or strangers are in here. That is just cobalt business. Inside check. Okay, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Another bad roll. Oh wait, no, that's a twenty-two. That's a twenty-two. The cobalt is telling the truth. While there are, there, there probably is something skeevy going in on, in on there, the kobold knows nothing of a prisoner being held in there, specifically. Okay. It's up to you if you still want to open the door for any, for any curiosity reason. Or if you uh, like it. Not particularly. Okay. Brad? Wait, can I look into keyholes? Yes. Uh, what do I see? You see, there appears to be a kobold in a grungy lab coat, and a kobold, another kobold, with a drill outside. I'm sorry, another kobold with a with goggles, like those little anime anime pilot goggles. And they appear to be working at a rundown table. I said red. That's okay. Sciencey. There are also piles of trash. <laughs> and one of them got a one of them got a like a test tube, or at least I hope that's a test tube. You know, some sort of glass vial that well, it's hard to tell what's in there exactly. You know, with cobalt inventors, be prepared for trashy science. Literal making cool stuff out of trash. But of course. <laughs> uh, okay, interesting. Let's go. Yay! I'm, I'll finish that later or never. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do, 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 go past the pathway. Jerry shafts something in Draconic, but before he can finish, a minecart comes ra racing around the at racing around the bend. Whoosh! Let me put that on there. That's the wrong color. And Jerry jumps over the cart and lands on the other side. However, it is coming now straight for Elliot. There is enough ceiling room to jump over the cart or cling to the walls. It also looks like it could be pretty hard to stop um, with brute force. So it is up to Ellie in, in a reaction what to do. I'll gladly jump over it. I mean, I should have the ability to it. I have like. no doubt. Can you please roll so me? So is it acrobatics? Or? Correct. Nice. So let's try. Let's see here. And it is 6 plus 5. I regret to inform you, you just miss clearing it, and instead your foot scrapes on it, 
And you can see for a moment as you look down, it is full of centipedes and bugs and gross trash and spikes. Uh, so, you know, you kind of oof, skip, uh, skimp on the landing, have a little, you can have a little, what's the word, stumble landing, but you know, you'll be okay. Just, just a little embarrassed, just a little ungraceful. And good job. While, while Jerry screams and draconic at whoever's in the cave, something very angry, uh, suggesting someone didn't listen, what will Fratum do in response to the careening minecart? Can I hide in the door frame? You can. And it's very Well, easy. I will do better. Squeeze. And as the minecart comes, woof, as the minecart comes rushing by, just... And it just comes crashing out of the cave and comes off the tracks and tumbles to the side. Jerry screams something and continues to scream draconic and warns you that it seems that whoever is got whoever is on guard dirty did not hear my war did not heed my warning. They only heard the alarm. Perhaps they believe believed I was under duress, as I said, do not say do not spring the traps. And Jerry starts to storm off into the darkness to talk, have a stern talking to whoever. It is up to you whether you wish to wait, follow, or explore the other pathway. I would do all, I would like to do all three of them. Well, you, you're more than welcome to. In Bizarre Town wrote, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! She didn't write the ah, I just like doing that. And if you enjoy a hype time, both with game and art, I do recommend to people in the audience to check out Bizarre Town 16. Be very fun. She's very fun. She's very hype and very talented. Okay, so which would you, which would you like to do first, Fred? Uh, follow the follow the cobalt. Sounds good to me. And Elian, do you wish to follow suit or go on your own path? Ah, uh, getting split up around here is probably the worst idea, so yes, let's go. Okay. And as more of the cave becomes clear, you can see that I was too lazy to draw minecart tracks along this pathway. But there are it is relatively smooth and polished, and there are some there is a little hidey hole just in case. Perhaps that is for anyone who doesn't want to get hit by a minecart as they're running through. You can see Jerry making his way around the bend, and then you can see an explosion that nearly captures Jerry. But he's okay. He got fire resistance. He's going to be fine. But he does look back at you, and his face is covered in smoke. Like... Ouch. Thank you. And Jerry continues running in. And running, running, running. running, running. You know, he, he's very fast, but he's not too hard to catch up to. And it appears in this room, it appears he has run into a large room that I have a very small eraser for. And inside this room are a very big kobold wielding a spear. And there's another kobold wearing grubby mage robes. Let me just give that one a little eh, spear. And this one has a little wizard robes and wizard hats. Sorry, has a mag as a funny pointed hat and a fake beard, like like, like kind of as a tat spy string, like a bad disguise, and little robes. And there is a sorcerer like energy about this kobold. Ooh, spooky. And behind them, you can see the biggest rat. And it's got it's got brown fur. It looks awfully clean for a rat in a cave. And Jerry starts screaming at them. Something that sounds between angry and pleading. While the kobold with us, the large kobold with a spear. And the little sorcerer says nothing, but simply blinks its, blinks its eyes and Jerry starts to fall over and feel weak. He goes, Ah! I do believe dirty tricks were played upon me. Please, adventurers, save yourselves! And it's up to you. 
what to do. I would like to drag him uh, away anyways. Okay. We're going to reach Dragon Jerry away. Whoop. And the biggest kobo says, and Bizarre Town will be right back very quick. Very good, and I wish you stay safe. And the big kobo shouts something that sounds like a very, a very infantile tongue clicking. <laughs> And the rat, the rat, starts running after you. And it's such a big rat. Like, it's, it's, I guess it's not a, it's not big for, you know, objectively, but it is big for a rat. You know, it's, it's a, it can, it can fill the same space as a humanoid. And it's up to you. And it's coming right for Elian. And Elian gets an attack of opportunity. So it's up to you, Elian. What will you do to the rat? Hmm. Let me take a quick look at my options here. And good at good evening, line, and I hope you're doing well today. I welcome you back to Atelier Beck. We have Beck, we have Corsia, we have Jalen, and we are playing Dungeons and Dragons today. Mm. I would like to strike the oncoming foe with an analyzed creature reaction. Sounds good. Wait, I have to check what that means again. I do apologize. Da, 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 da. Analyze creature reaction, patient defense. Analyze creature misses you with an attack. You can use your reaction to make an unarmed attack. It is just about within your reach, and just as it comes, it's up to you. Now's the chance. Strike it down. You do have to roll for that. Though. You got to do the. Got to do the uh, tapping. Did did so right now? I think. Uh... <laughs> oh wow. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't. How do I check? I keep forgetting how to check the game log on here. It's not good. Here we go. Very. Whoa, that rat goes. Wait, let me check the exact spell. Uh, do, 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 giant rat. Oh, dang. You just flattened that rat. Like, you Kate, you squished its head in, and it goes bleh, like a pancake. Whole rat just springs its, springs its limbs out. Like, Okay, so you know how if you squish down on a balloon toy, like all its limbs or streamer things, they just, like party streamers, they just, whoop, it does that with its limbs, with its hands, its feet, and its tail just shoots into the air. And it goes, bleh, it dead. Good job. So that rat is gone. The, one of the kobolds, because I keep shaking the map by accident, cries. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> and it says something that sounds very sad and intelligible and it is paralyzed with with fear and sadness while the sorcerer starts to close star sorcerer closes its eyes and starts to chant something oh no i've killed his pet <laughs> I, would, I, I would i would i would recommend we get around the corner <laughs> so you do a little shuffle like around each other did, did you say I you would to... like to take a dash action? Okay. Are you dashing away or toward? Away. Good idea. Yeet! That you. Will you use the whole distance to get as far as possible? Or I just... mean, I'm still dragging, yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know if you wish to take to explore or just do you wish to explore the other fork? Or do you wish to take what you know already? And, you know. Stay safe. Uncharted territory is scary. But that's as far as you can see past that pillar. Actually, I'm going to use, uh, considering this will probably be, uh, probably be pretty, uh, energy, uh, draining. I'll just do the dash action to drag both, at uh, the, uh, the cobalt and, uh, uh, Alien? And, uh, Alien with me. What a pal. Alien, do you consent to being dragged off? Uh, I, I use whatever wind abilities that I have to help him with the burden, but yes. Yay, teamwork. From around the bend, you can hear the chanting start to subside. And there's a small flicker of light, and then nothing. No, and, I, and, I, and I don't mean like banishment, nothing. I just mean like there's no obvious uh, sensory something or other. So, 
There's there. But you can Yay. hear some stamping from around the corner. It almost sounds like big, heavy, angry footsteps. And as you would, as you might suspect, you can see on off some shiny surface of this corridor, you can see the kobold, the kobold with a spear round the bend. Nowhere near able to get you though. Okay, um, hey, uh, Mister Kobold friend. Yes. And what is up in this way? I believe that way is where they train, they train the rats. Okay, oh. I guess we should go there. I mean, I, I don't know if you want to deal with more rats. Uh, I mean, we don't really have squish. another pet. <laughs> squish. There was a squish. <laughs> no, I squished rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it does... Aim, 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 aim. Yeah. We, we still need to find yeah. a miner. This is true. We we either go and uh, take on the the big guy and the 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 the, the smart dude with the with the spells, or uh, we take on the rats. I don't know which one is better. Do you think the big guy weighs less than five hundred pounds? Absolutely. <laughs> no. There's enough ceiling. I mean, I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you have a scale with you. Uh, I don't know I if he would like uh, to have his weight known, though. Well, let, me, let me take a quick look. Just ask the kobold very nicely. Says, hey, how fat are you? No. I mean, 226 kilograms. It's still a kobold, right? How, how, big oh, those... can he... how, how big is he? Like, honestly, I wouldn't give him more than 100 pounds or 50 kilograms. That's, that's being oh. generous. So that's a big kobold. Yeah, very big for a kobold. Well, I guess I'm preparing myself to levitate someone. <laughs> that sounds good to me. And Lion asked if I can guess how many downloads Android has. Maybe later, Lion. Right now, I'm focused on this game. But thank you for asking. Okay, and so is Alien Criteria. And Alien concentrates and gets ready to levitate a kobold. And Fredham, did you say you'll t take on the rats or gar gar stand Guard with Elian, will you take the path out? Will you keep talking to, 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 to Jerry? It's up to you. A lot, a lot of things you could do here. Uh, how far away is the other kobold? The kobold is one, two, three, four, five, six, about 30 feet away. And Lasso is here. And good noon to you, Lasso. People. Wait, Lancer or what? Oh, no, sorry. Streamer named Lasso Catsy, redeemed a chaotic oh. queen. Who I have not seen in ages. Well, that's more because I just don't stream it. And if you enjoy cool games and cool art, I do recommend checking out Lasso Catsy. Just going to put down who also redeemed a boon. So let's see what boon that will happen to the party in the next turn. Uh, that is a restored spell slot. I, I don't know if that really helps here. Sorry. No. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm sorry, but would you, Jenna, would you please remind me what Fredham is going to do? Uh, do I have to uh, be able to see someone in order to use chill touch? Should chill touch because, because it's not uh, not done with uh, any projectile. It's just a hand that appears. I I I don't think you have to see them, but I do believe to use a chill touch spell, you have to touch them. <laughs> I actually don't. Oh really? It's 120 feet. Sheesh! Sorry, that was that was way more exciting than I expected. No, yeah, go for it. You 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 know you have a vague idea of where he is. Yeah, ch yeah, chill him, touch him, give him the give him the hand that from the sounds grave. Very inappropriate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, touch, so touch. Does it, does it like does it like freeze someone to something? It does necrotic damage, which is like, it, it, it sucks their life away and causes their cells to break down. Ah, okay, okay. Well, I was hoping we could just like stick him to the ceiling or something. Oh, that would be cool. Maybe Mage. I know Mage Hand lets you do telekinesis stuff. I mean, I, 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 think I, I, I could levitate him to the ceiling and the sticking part could do best by someone else. Hmm. <laughs> but actually, I think that is fine. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, let me see here. Ah, ba -da -ba -da. For chill touch, you need dear. Oh, there's not even a spell. So there's not even a saving throw. You just you just straight up deal it, huh? No, it's just hit. Nice. Okay. Two hit. 
so I need to roll to hit, which I already did. Okay, let me take a look at what you roll. Oh, yeah, that hits no problem. Let me see. Yeah, how... yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, eight. Well, okay. You, so you, got, you did 12 damage? Yeah, eight damage. Very good. You said eight damage. Yes. Okay, the cobalt. It, tickle, it shake. You can hear a groan of pain. It almost sounds like a death rat, death knight, but it's still alive, and it is going to use its turn. This whoopsie, more opportunity to continue charging up, but it does stumble a little bit, and only gets about ten feet. It is now ten feet from Elian, and Elian. It is now your turn, so you have a good chance to levitate it into the ceiling, or at least you know, keep it occupied. Whoopsie! Well, I mean, the thing that I really want to do is just to make sure that he doesn't strike us, so he is somewhat inca inca incapacitated? Is that how you say it, I suppose? So yes. I do try and levitate his, but, but I'm not sure if... He, he rolls, right? Not me. You're correct. He rolls the con constitution save. And I see that lasso uh, that he tried in. Ah, yes, chill touch. The rain spell that does necromantic damage. Yeah. That's exactly why I was confused. <laughs> yeah! It gets everyone the first time. And, and there's something smelly in this cave. And it smells almost like the kobold just had a thingy fall off. Like, it smells like rotting flesh. And you can see a digit fall from the kobolds. Not... The kobold's recessive hand. Gross! Ooh. But that kobold is kind of spooked and actually loses its, its its fortitude, its focus right now, and very much floats up into the ceiling. I don't know how to draw I'll just do this. Boop! And well, who could have done that? <laughs> oh no! And it just... You can fly! <laughs> <laughs> and it just screams at you and it almost cries and it's still crying because of the rat that you killed. Good job! And that kobold is stuck, and you can hear little footsteps. They're itty bitty pitter patters, and please take, please accept this break of logic that the the, no, 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 no. the kobold sorcerer is making its way around the bend. So, uh oh. And Jerry screams something back at the kobolds, but there's no response. It is not a good sign. Jerry notes, I fear that they are no longer my allies. They have brand they must have branded me as a traitor. Uh, makes my here's my feelings. I can't wait. We can uh, uh, hopefully fix that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, if you. anyone is a traitor here, it's those bastards out there trying to get us. Dang, that's solid logic. That I like that those are facts. And it is it is now. Right, of course, it depends on under what cause you are. If you're under our cause, they are the traitors. Dang, those are also facts. <laughs> and let's see what's here. And then levitation, chill, or should it chill touch, and then levitation, and then they moved. And I don't know how, but I, I didn't think I got the mission next. So, I'm sorry, let me take a look. It doesn't really matter, I find the initiative log. It's, it's, and that's, that's probably blasphemy. Okay, it is now Elian's turn. Indu. Let me let me take a look at what can I do in fact. But I mean, I still have some sort of preparation again before he just kind of shows up. Well, he's going to be stuck there for a ten uh, ten minutes or. Ten or so. Well, the big cobalt is gonna be vibing up there, I suppose. But about a sorcerer now. Oh, that's a good point. You could take a ready action. Uh, which is done how? You just do a ready action instead of your normal action. I mean, I suppose I can do that. Okay. That Anything sounds I good. Anything I should do in order to start that? Well, you just say like you're readying an action, and you can take a normal action. At the end of the everyone else's turn, if if you like. Yeah, did you know that I mess that up? No. So yes, that just means that Alien doesn't take her turn first. She she gets to take it at the end of the thing, or you know, when she feels you. 
after everyone else has done their thing, just in case you want to pace it plump differently. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for now. See what it's, what, what's up. Sounds good. And Fratum, what would you like to do? Uh, w D I, I would like to do a speed attack. Yeah, do it! All right, let me take a look at how the speed attack works again. For anyone in the audience, you might get a kick out of this. One of the homebrews we are running, Fratum is actually a fur flame related to the Dreamer clan. Do -do -do. Undertale references. In this case, a Delta Room. Or both. <laughs> Let's see. And a spade attack to create a white spade above the head and hurl at a creature within range. The creature must make a dexterity save, and on success, they take half the damage. Okay. Let's see here. What will... I mean, the thing is stuck against the wall, so I'm going to say the, the kobold... Um... Spear, 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 wheel, and kobold is gonna roll with disadvantage. Because what's it gonna do? Wiggle in place? <laughs> you can see it. Display, these, uh... Display is one one hand that it has left. <laughs> <laughs> well, fortunately, it rolled a thirteen and then an eight. So uh, you know, either way, oof, ouchie. Take that three d four spectral damage. Yeah. Okay, that's seven damage. Nice. Do some math. So. Yeah, Kobold is looking pretty, pretty. Yes? That sounds good. I will be there in five minutes. So let's see if we can have to... It's, it's just I have to help I have to help someone for about 10 to 15 minutes, so we'll end up having to take a little... Yes, the, the, the thing that you have forced will be for, right? Correct. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Okay, so that 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 course here. No, sorry, that kobold kobold course here. Oh no, that's a fan, that's an alternate universe idea. <laughs> and so that that kobold it loses one of its leg. It, it gets a lot of it gets a lot of holes in its legs. I don't know, if try to aiming for its legs, or it just works out that way. It's up to you. It's, it's, and Mercury noted. Sorry. I mean, considering it's bludgeoning damage, it should. If I if the leg does get injured, I should have to hit the leg, which I'm probably not trying to do. Oh, it's bludgeoning. I thought it was. Uh... Yeah, it's magical bludgeoning. Oh, thank you, my goof. I that kobold's like it gets kind of mangled up. It gets some holes and dents and bruises. And it goes oof, ouch, ouch, and it screams in a mix of common and draconic, and it says some very not say so things. Ouch. But, <laughs> yeah, it's his ouch. And Jerry a, um, appears to have had enough of this betrayal, this politics, and decides to join your cause and screams, I will not be the ba the bottom of the pecking order anymore. I will not be your true toy, big meanies. And Jerry readies his slingshot and he gets angry. You items. get him, Jerry. You yeah! get him. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah! And Jerry goes, yeah! And, 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 <laughs> and let me see. And he rolls with advantage. Yeah! Oh, good, cat. good thinking, thank you. Oh, that's right, he also gets pack tactics, because kobolds get that when they're with their buddies, and he considers you buddies now. Yeah! And rolls that. Am I reading that right? And now he misses. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. No, he gets a 17. It's gonna be okay. It just gets the kobold. And he deals a good, a good old, ooh, three damage. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, it's still something. Let me do some math. Math, math, not that much. Good. That yeah, kobold looking pretty salt, not saucy. Only saucy if you consider blood leaking out to be saucy. Isn't, you know, vampire cuisine. And you can hear the pitter-patter of the kobold sorcerer making its way around the bend. It's awfully slow despite being in a, you know, a small environment. Or perhaps, perhaps it's being very cautious because it has seen what you've done to his, or her, I don't know, it's the kobold's uh, co compatriot, its ally, and it, it doesn't want to run into danger and lose its life to, or risk it. Okay. And another turn has passed. And... Wait, Corsia still has to... Oh, that's right! Thank you for I'm sorry. And Elian can use her ready action if she desires. 
Mm, so the world is still up there, right? Just kind of not doing anything. Right. And it's still alive. I mean, the, the Rikudo spell ended suffering, right? It's yeah. like mm. half alive now. It could probably like snap its ne snap his neck, mess up its head from a distance. Or I two. suppose. I suppose what I can do is just uh, dispel the dispel the levitation, and as he's going down, I could strike him with a flurry of blows. Yeah, do it. Yeah. And as the kobold floats down gently and predictably, now is your chance to let me see here and deal eleven. Very good. Now is your chance to be a big shot. <laughs> so it only does six damage. I suppose. Uh, I mean, that's still I definitely guess I didn't something. I get very lucky. <laughs> that's something. And as that cobo, as you, as as Ellie goes, boom, 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 waka, waka, jack, waka, what? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, sorry, that's the wrong noise. Goes, and the kobold just coughs out a uh, coughs out a good chunk of blood. It goes and crashes against the wall and bounces off it because it's very smooth and convenient and tumbles onto the sorcerer. Oof! And they both go squish. Not dead squish like the rat, but they're both very confused and kind of bruised up and messed up by that. Good job. Freaking hell. Elian is a fucking Jojo fan who thinks she can do Aurora, but she can't. <laughs> <laughs> she, she can only do the muda mudas. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, yes, Eliana from the good place of Italy. And those kobolds are very disoriented. And Jerry is very amazing. He's like, wow, how did you do that? Amazing technique. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Lay of the sarcasm, Jerry's. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm very excited. That was very cool. And All right, because I feel left out, I'm gonna do another arm strike against the wall. Yeah, <laughs> I want you to roll for bludgeoning damage to your thingies. And <laughs> no, I don't actually want you to do that. And Mercury noted that cobalt blood pudding. Yum. <laughs> and there will probably be another magic item at the end of this quest, as Mercury politely put in the points for another magic item in this game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, those kobolds are just so disoriented. And it is up to you whether to use this as a for a free round to you know approach, mess him up, talk, try and interrogate him, however you want to do it. I mean, we, we've kind of messed up one's hand and his overall existence. I don't think they will be very negotiable. It's true. They'll probably. Well, be very... we could still stop the fighting with intimidating them. I think. Theoretically. Oh yeah. It's like I'm a fan of it, but uh, that is true. It's an option. So do we try that? I mean, you can. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's do the Cobalt Lick War Cry! Ah! Uh, Hello. Uh, roll. 14. That's pretty good. That's... Let me take a look at their things just to be safe. Uh, 22. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I... Sheesh! So so Elian is just there like, yeah, get out of here and then front and from behind just the ultimate scream war cry that completely scares everyone away. <laughs> Let's go. Those kobolds, they just they scream something that, you know, it, w w just forget this. They get side people says, you know what, our lives aren't worth this. Let's let's get out of here. You got it, partner. Uh and they run deeper into the cave you can hear. And it's hard to tell where they go, but they just their footsteps vanish. The last thing you can hear from them is a pitter-patter of rock, dirt, and splish-splash of water. Suspicious. Good job. The cave is now free to explore at your leisure. Yeah! Except for the rats, I suppose. Well, yeah, there's there's some rats over there still, but, you know, they're, they're, they're just grooving. We need to get some cheese. <laughs> All right, Wait, I'll call them. Where's my squirrel statue? Uh, and my, my, uh, my uh, <laughs> raccoon statue. <laughs> he's, he's crossing the timelines. We're gonna get a crossover event. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, she's is actually working very hard today. That might show up much, much later. So, oh, do you, this is, here's a gross question. Did either of you want to take the flattened rat corpse? 
carcass from before. That was no. You know. <laughs> Particularly, I mean, it, 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 can, it can be there, it's fine. Okay, then Jerry just wants to go over and eat it if that doesn't bother either of you too much. You know what? what you take... mm -hmm. I, I have a better idea. Yes? I'm gonna slice up a small piece of it and use it as fertilizer. Good idea. Hey. Jerry's gonna eat the biggies. Mm -hmm. Oopsie, wrong way. All right, you now have one fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. you already use them. <laughs> Actually, I think that can only be used for stuff like mushrooms. So. Oh, boy. oh good! Oh good! You can make funny honey later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slash me gets everyone in the town addicted to funny honey. Yeah, it's all part of your plan to become the the, the big cat ball. <laughs> and Jerry notes, or I'm assuming uh, Jerry notes or screams down the hallway. And whoopsie, there appeared to be a little alcove where he describes there are some alcoves in this cave, some little hidey holes that might, some hidey holes that probably have treasure and chunks of silver and gem and rocks. And <laughs> three yes, miners. <laughs> yes, and the three miners. Actually, the miners have not appeared yet, but there is a doorway. So, but Jerry is hesitant to open it, so he would not do so unless you back him up. Also, you can see some. Oh, sorry. Let's go with the boy now. Let's okay. help him. So, Wait, Jerry. What, did, don't you want to, like, look around the room first? I mean, that's a good point. I mean, investigation! <laughs> He will wait. Let, let's take a look. So what do we... Investigation? Yes. Yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's take a look at those big rolls. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's a big one. There's a lot of... You know, there's a lot of garbage around here. But you do also find a small healing potion. And it has a label on it that says... Made with honey mushroom. It says made with bees honey green mushrooms and a pinch of love wait like you, you can you can keep love? that one you can keep that one <laughs> okay there also appear to be chunks of silver they, they're a little crusty and it's hard to tell if they are exactly um silver coins the actual silver or something that was dropped but either way it is it, it, it appears like you know from 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 uh from a, Whoa. Oh, excuse me. From a casual perspective, it looks like it would probably be worth a handful worth four gold. And it's up to you to ask about that at the end. And I do apologize. I do have to help the family. I didn't realize I'd be yes, five yes. minutes overseas. Yeah, it's, uh, thank take you. Time. I, will, I will take a quick breather right. as well. That's a good idea. I'm just going to leave this Breather. <laughs> this stretches up. And you know what? I'll put up the breathing exercises. I know that's not what you meant, but I, I like I'm going to put up.
sit back down. Oh, the joke about bone hurting, but when it really happens, I thank you all for your patience. Uh. <laughs> and let us see when we last. Ocean of Healing has joined the party. <laughs> Good. And let us see here. And it's investigation. And I'm sorry, would you please remind me what was happening last? Oh, I remember. Uh, we, were, we were checking the room? Yes. Checking the room and finding four gold pieces worth of silver chunks. And there are some easily removable sapphire chunks of uh, sapphires from the my, from the cave walls i would say let me actually roll a d6 for this six, <laughs> six chunks of sa six saf six small sapphires yep <laughs> whether you use whether you sell them use them for some sort of sculpt jewelry uh magic jewelry crafting uh Chewing candy, r r hard candies, it's up to you. <laughs> and I do know, remember, Alien has a miner's pick, so at the end of this, you know, you could probably get a little more out of the walls. That wasn't just easily removed. It's up to you. Oops. So, did you say you were uh, still investigating the, the whole cave? Wait, we need to decide first what to do with the, the sapphires. Oh. <laughs> and Mercury wrote, mmm, gem candies, taste of carbon. Sapphires, blue, I want them. Yeah, yeah! Alright, uh, can I have one of six? Over my dead body, I mean, sure. Me. I have sapphires to... Alien. I'm sure that I'm sure that what you will both come up with creative or profitable uses for both for these. Maybe powerful and creative. Yeah. So what exactly are them so that I can note them down? Oh I actually don't know if D D has a or D D Beyond has an item for sapphire. There are, there are black sapphires, blue sapphires, and uh and uh green ones, I think. Wait. Ah, I mean, I know in okay. reality there are a lot. Yeah, you can have sapphires of all colors, but now I'm worried oh, if black. different color sapphires have different abilities. Even no, they just have different monetary values. Values. Oh, oh. oh wait. Uh, they also have effects, apparently. Oh, goody! <laughs> I was just pulling stuff from. I was just trying to make things. Pretty and valuable. I wasn't expecting magic ability. Now you can go get the magic abilities that we have. But it's elemental gem, blue sapphire, can use a mode of elemental energy. When you break the gem, an air elemental is summoned for you. Wow! Yeah, that is very. Not what it says for me, but. Uh... Just for the record, you're not trapping me inside of sapphires. <laughs> <laughs> I was not planning on doing that still. <laughs> So yes, uh, so I'm adding five sapphires then, if I yes. if I understand it correctly. Very nice. Wait, five air one. elementals. Why you can start a band? I mean, just the blue one, right? Just the yeah, blue the blue ones. Yeah. They wait the elemental gem. No, oh. I'm, I mean, I'm I mean, just I'm just putting the normal blue sapphires. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. yeah, I I feel like summoning air elementals with these would be a little overpowered right now. Hey, break! I mean, get even just the sapphires? normal sapphires have quite a bit of cost. So this I is mean... true. <laughs> and what did you say, Jana? Can I get a star sapphire instead? Star sapphire. It does the same thing and it costs the same. It's just aesthetics. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that yeah. one is star sapphire. Is just a... <laughs> Why it's, not? It's just, a it's just a convenient item for for <laughs> gentlemen's <Yes>. backstory. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, what a... <laughs> that was silly. Okay. And, yeah, so health potion, chunk of, chunks of silver, and so and the sapphires. And Jerry notes, 
as calls down from the hallway that he can hear mumbling and moaning from behind one of the doors. Which probably means that the, 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 the people that, that went there are there and they are waiting and they are probably going to attack us and I... Wait, is the door locked? Yes. But he, ah. does not, he does not have the key. I, I wonder who might be behind there. <laughs> and Murphy wrote, ah yes, the Blue Air Group. <laughs> Blue Sapphire has joined the party. This is gonna get old very quickly. <laughs> but yes, can anyone help? Actually, you know what? Jerry can probably pick the lock. I'll give him a try. Wait, can I look through the through the keyhole first? You can. <laughs> uh, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Whoop! And it is not a lot Hello? to see from this angle. Oh, there's nothing. Well, there's more to the room, but it, you, you can see there's like a bend to it, but it's hard to see from this angle. You, you'd have to break the door down or open, unlock it. Do you have an ability for a... Uh, what? Can I just lean myself against the door so hard it gives way? Uh, sure. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I mean, I was gonna say it's just it's it's a pretty flimsy door. Like you could probably break it that way. Jerry's just you know very polite and doesn't. Well, I'm probably it. gonna fall prone, but <laughs> that's a good point. All right, yeah, roll for strength. We're at athletics. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm definitely falling prone. <laughs> Yay! Oof. Ooh. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Jerry finds you very brave and very strong. And at least I'm you not can clumsy at all. <laughs> At least you can now see into the room. It's, it's good enough. And you can see two people covered in dirt and bug bites and ouchies and big frowny faces. And I made a th I used the wrong brush. And it appears you found two lost miners. And they barely seem alive and they barely seem Kept a very scruffy looking. One of them appears to be a dwarf, and the other appears to be an elf. Not an elf, sorry, a half elf. Can we serve them the potion? I mean, it, it, the, the, the contents of the potion don't seem very fancy to me, so we could use them for that purpose, you know? That's a good that, idea. That seems very unethical. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, we don't have to tell. We don't have to tell them. They seem pretty desperate for any help right now. I mean, if it's a healing potion, it's got honey in it. <laughs> uh, sure. If if anything happens, I'm blaming you for that. <laughs> I'm blaming the couple. <laughs> well, you told me to do it, so. Jerry thinks it'll be fine. And so. With enough potion to heal both of them, it at least they 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 are a lot more. Uh, ex they have a lot more gusto for the questionable potion than you might expect, because they are they are gulping it down. They are mixing up their mouths. No, they don't do that. And you know they're still bruised, battered, and ashamed, but at least you know they're stabilized now. And the scruffy dwarfy says, "Oh, thank you." We've been in there for so long, I, I don't know when. That, those, those mean, nasty little red, those little red troublemakers came here and just ambushed us and made a big mess. Been in the dark for so long and just been eating nothing but rats. The rats aren't so bad, but, you know, rats without ketchup. Ugh. And yeah. the elf s rats. <laughs> and the rats, not the rats, the elf, the half-elf, screams something at Jerry, it's up to you to intervene or not. No, 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 no. He, he, he's a, he's good. He's, without, he's, 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 he's shoot. He's I'm not Jerry. evil. He's he's good. He's a. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Just a moment. Uh, Fault family is calling again. I I should make. I hope this is quick. Mind your tongue. You're talking to one of your saviors. That is true.
cold and tense. Okay, thank you for spooking me with the cold and tense. Uh, yeah, he's J Jerry Cool, yeah. Let's see here. Everything's cool. Uh, everything's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get out of the cave. Bizarre Town's back. That's very cool. It is up to you two if you want to bother exploring the two pathways or to ask the miners anything else before they, you know, head on out. So, are you even the miner that we're looking for, by the way? That depends. That depends. What kind of miner were you looking for? And I thank you, Selby, for the switch and hydrate. Um, we are on a bit of a time limit, and we're going to be ending in about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to drink the water now, and a stretch after at 11, or at 1 o'clock, and I'll probably go for a walk, and redeem, report, refund those spots for now. So, yeah, the miner does not really know, the, neither miner really knows what you mean by looking for them. Um, well, I mean, I would like to refer to the quest that we have been sent on by the village, so to find out whether or not there's something fishy going on. Mm. The miners look at it, and one of them notices a little handwriting and notes, Oh, yes, that is the... Mm, that is our friend. We have... We do some work... For we do some work around town, and one of our business partners happens to be a merchant, has a face almost like a bat, usually wears a sun hat, not a very good sense of fashion, but you know, he he's he's good company and he pays well. And he sends you to death missions to caves. What? And and he sends you to a mission to, to mine in a cave where well you get captured and Almost die. Well, in, you know, mining is not exactly um, easy work. It's not the safest, but it pays well when it does. <laughs> and I, that, all right. that is kind of Me sussy, and the Batman might have a little talking to later. Well, it's, it's up to you if you want to talk to the Batman. I mean, we're just happy to we're just happy to be alive. So thank you a lot. Um, there is something curious. One of the miners starts to step forward. The, the dwarf starts to step forward, and there's no sound. And you notice he's wearing boots of elven kind, the very special stealthy ones. Mm. You, you got some fancy uh, boot work, you know? Oh, yes, those are... Can I say I won them in a card game, and I... Find them very comfortable, very handy. Well, what? Actually, I'm curious. What kind of boots are they? The I, 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 uh, I would probably get my hands on one of those eventually. Well, I couldn't exactly tell you what they, what to ask for in the store, but if you ask for boots that don't make a sound and have good or good, good, uh, I guess they wouldn't call it podiatry. They they make sure you don't. They really help with. They help take. They help prevent exhaustion from walking around or being on your feet too much. So they work for me as a work as a miner, and I'm sure they're good for anyone who wants to walk for miles and miles and kilometers and kilometers upon end. Wait, so you got these boots as a gift from someone? I won them in a card game, but they happen to be very oh, handy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good. Okay. <laughs> and will you let the quote unquote miners go or do you have any more questions for them? we would certainly like to accompany them to the village to kind of like you know have a proof that we finished yeah. the task sounds good and so making their way out of the cave da, 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 wait da. are we taking the the, the the kobold with us the kobold decides to stay home and make a make the place a little nicer a little more hospitable and still tend to the rats, maybe get some more goodies out of the walls and whatnot. Yeah. I never know what was behind that one door. It's everyone just kind of shuffles out, and I don't know how to do layer. No, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So making my way back to the village. Let me see here. They're a very rough.
very rough representation of the way and with the river that the brown river the muddy river oh no and it takes a few hours it takes a cup it takes a few hours to get back to the village but you, you get back there pretty uneventfully so that's that's nice I, that's that's a good change of pace from all the adventure today and the bat the batman is standing in front of a merchant stall hawking wares and shouting very very strange things and very bold claims and batman trademark is chandler wrote and i don't remember what voice i used for that oh yeah and i remember what voice i used for batman hello ah you found my friend and i see you have another one too i don't recognize this one but if they work together that's good enough for me thank you both for your help today yeah. Uh, you, you got it, but can we talk money now? Of course, of course. Because they're both alive. Well, I don't... Because at least one is alive. I'm going to give you each... Hands over two big sacks of coins. Then and states, a hundred gold pieces each. Don't spend it on one place. Wink. Oof. <laughs> I mean, you I fall over from the sack. Some things are pretty expensive, yes. <laughs> oh. I mean, with the with the things that we found in the cave, I do suppose that is a nice little cherry on top, but still. <laughs> but what? Yeah, we found some nice rats. Rats squished them around. It was interesting. Oh my goodness. That is... Yeah, I didn't... <laughs> Sorry. I, I just interrupt the conversation and I say... <laughs> Yeah, I, I sound like a lion, apparently. <laughs> That's a good point. The goat man does seem to be able to shout. Ah! Uh... <laughs> and I do another intimidation check. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What you got? Oh, excuse me. Okay, that serve. The, Just growl. <laughs> the Batman thinks you might want to see a a medic, a cleric, a physician, so, someone about a scratchy throat or you know, <laughs> horse pipes. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman offers a what's the word? Notes that in the town there is an apothecary. They have a very limited stock and ability, but they they might have something like. Little lozenges or little yummy treats or stamina yeah. potion. <laughs> Anything that can get me back to health, I will. I'll be glad to take a bite. Mm. I don't know what I'm drawing on your oh, yeah, herbs. As long as it doesn't have any mushrooms in it. <laughs> the Wait, are you allergic to mushroom? I'm not allergic to them. I just can't stand them. Uh -oh. Batman warns you that a lot of medicinal goods in this town are made from mushrooms, probably from the cave. Well, mostly from the cave. Lucky me. <laughs> Suppose that'll have to do you want to ask do either of you have anything else you want to ask the Batman or the miners? I would like to ask them to be kind to the little cobalt we left back there because if they aren't, we are gonna have to have you know do some interception. <laughs> Actually, yes, I would like to. I would like to see what the the Batman trademark is selling. <laughs> the miners make note of your work, but they seem to do so in a half-minded way that suggests they don't take it seriously. I hope they do, though, for their sake. <clears throat> and as for the wares. Batman is selling a potion of healing, which seems to have a similar consistency to the one you found in the cave, but with a little more red, a first level mana potion, which can restore two first level spell slots, a package of mixed herbs with unknown effects, and they even have a little picture 
uh, not a picture, they have a word on it that says wild time. Uh oh. And the and the Batman notes here. I uh, notes here. Look, and says, this is like the kind of stuff that sorcerers do when their magic surges and they bend reality. But instead, this will simply make you perceive these things in your own mind. Oh, gee, that is the same thing that I was thinking. Oh no. Okay, no, it actually it actually will make wild magic. No, it's not the other things. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. 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 How much does this thing cost? That will cost 12 gold. Wow! Uh, he, can, he I, can I do a, a persuasion check to handle it down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. He also warns you that it is only one one use costs 12 gold. Like, like that's how much is in a 12, get, 12 gold package. Uh, I, 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 I rolled a 24. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Hmm, well, you did help me out a lot today. I like your cat, G. I'll make it eight. Okay. <laughs> and it's eight gold, so he get, so you only got 92 gold today. Phantom got 92 gold today. Yeah, go wild magic. You want the, how many, how many charges, or, you know, how many, uh, servings would you like to purchase? Five. Five. Very good. Okay, that's man, that's sixty. Five charges. And any time when it's your turn, you can even use it as a bonus action or a reaction. You can use you can you can you know in ingest some of the wild time wild magic herb and it will give you the ability to cast a you know to roll from a wild magic table of you know one we approve of before the session. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he also has what appears to be the, the last thing he has appears to be a blue pearl. Ooh. Everything else is just assorted junk, and you well, he, he got one pack. He got an he got a pack of explorer's tools. I guess it's not junk. I mean, I would be down to purchasing the health potion and get myself patched up. He notes that the health potions are worth three gold each, and he has seven in stock right now. Uh, how much does one heal? It heals two d6 hit points. Like, you, you rolled when it's time. So it could heal two, it could heal twelve. Uh, I'll, I'll take two, and I don't think any haggling is necessary unless he really wants to give it to me for free. He does not want to give it free. He 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 he. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I would expect. So, so I'll just uh, dissect two. Yes. Uh, that, that put six gold away from my inventory. Very good. Which leaves me at one hundred free, and I guess I put it to my backpack. He doesn't really have anything else that he doesn't have anything else that could patch you up, so to speak. But next time we play, I will aim to have a. Proper map of the town. And the yeah. Uh, we got about five minutes. Does anyone else want to say anything? Like comments? Charades? I, I do hope that the two of you had a good time today. I mean, yeah. of course. Oh, good. Frankly, I have something we can do in five minutes. Yes. I would like to challenge everyone to a game of playing cards. Oh, yeah, let's go. Wait, how are we going to do this? <laughs> well, I have. Well, technically, I have a card set in my uh, my garbage bag. <laughs> wink, wink. All right, what's the name of the game? Uh, just, I don't know, play, I think there should be rules of by playing cards, just... Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, actually, I, I don't, I'm not familiar enough with how playing cards works in Dungeons and Dragons. But you'll have to leave. I, I, th I think it's just skill checks and you have proficiency with playing cards, you can add your proficiency to it. That sounds great. The like, Batman accepts your offer. One miner says, okay, and the other miner just goes home. So. Bye. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, 
So the big tournament the other day, we got, we got Fred and the car master. We got, I don't know why I'm drawing him like this. We got, we got Elian the G, the Elian the G, the monk. We got bats. We got a miner. So I just roll a, well, well, neither the bat or the miner are proficient. And, and then suddenly, uh, uh, and suddenly the miner, the other miner fell from the sky and landed on the table. Went, oof, I don't know where the table came from, but the table smashed into two. Ah! It's spoopy. Oh. And I welcome, I welcome Catsy the DeVille and her raiders. I feel silly because we were actually about to end and we might have raided you, but even so, I thank you all for showing up. My name is Atelier Beck, and I am Beck. This is our Atelier. This is the Atelier. We are joined by Corsio Northalon and Jalen Matthew. Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about uh, it. Oh, thank you. Who are talented artists and writers and role players in their own right. And they also do streaming stuff sometimes. And I do want to check. Did I already shout out Catsy? I'm very bad at shouting out. Catsy wrote that let's double, let's double the raid. I like that attitude. I like that approach. And I do hope that today's going to be in isolation. I start to panic and freak out and say, uh uh, so who wants to wear who? Who wants to take cards? And, and, and. I'm going to roll for the. And so have a. So, sorry, what? I watched the thing. Oh. Okay. And. The Batman rolled a six on the card game, and the Miner rolled a nine. Oh, and the one that fell rolled a thirteen. Uh, with my proficiency, I rolled a ten. Nice. And what will Elian roll? Mm. So it's proficiency or which one? Uh, do oh, you yeah. have proficiency with playing cards? I don't think so. Where where would that be? I'm not sure. On the yes. tools in proficiency in languages. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Uh, don't seem like. But then it's just a flat D twenty. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Oh. Nine. Dang! That one miner that fell from the sky also f cleaned up the place. I hope you weren't. But I hope you weren't betting anything. Nah, it's just a friendly game. Nice. Well, the miner does feel a little more friendly toward you, even though he doesn't know why he fell from the sky. That was kind of spoopy. And Catsy's going to be back later, maybe, and warning us not to die. We think we do not die in D&D, because if you die in D&D, you die in real life. That's fair. Uh, so, right. What do you say we raid Nyan Nya Nyan Nya again, who is also playing D and D? D and D time. Stitch the day. Let me sit down. Is it just me, or was it completely distorted? Sorry, yeah, I'm say? spamming my, uh, my my I'm spamming the the mute. Oh, <laughs> well, that's fine. No <laughs> problem. Yeah. Stitch. <laughs> Okay. Very big on stretch in here, and I do hope that it's okay. everyone can have a. I thank you all for your time today, and I hope you can have a good day. I'll see you around.